Top 5 Best Mini PC Stick Number 5. Agile Access Plus Take the Agile Access Plus, for instance. This stick costs around $160 and claims to be one of the only PC sticks that have an Ethernet port. Unlike most of its rivals, it has a dual-band WiFi antenna and Bluetooth 2.4 tech that allows you to connect to the latest and greatest peripherals. Believe it or not, it gets better. Let's address the hot issue here, how does it run? In short, like a dream. The Access Plus comes with double the amount of RAM that its less expensive competitors do, at 4GB. This guarantees that the Access Plus is less likely to freeze, hang, or stutter and ensures seamless multi-tab browsing. Even the system architecture is different. Most PC sticks ship with a 32-bit operating system, but this one comes with 64-bit Windows 10 already installed. With 4GB of RAM, you should see considerable improvement over a 32-bit OS, however, the speed is limited a bit by the unfortunately average processor. Many PC sticks have a lot of potential. If you were feeling underwhelmed by the specifications on the products we've covered previously, the Access Plus should change your mind. Plus, it costs less than the cheapest laptop, so what do you have to lose? Coming in number 4. Intel CS125. Next up, we have another compute stick from Intel, this time the CS125. There are a couple of major differences, though. The most apparent is the price this model costs around $125, but there's also an extra gigabyte of RAM, and Windows 10 is installed instead of the more difficult to master Linux. This is a stick designed to work for a foreseeable amount of time. It has one USB 2.0 port, and one for USB 3.0 devices. Most recent peripherals use 3.0 since it allows for faster data transmission, so this is a small yet worthwhile addition. Hold on, though, there's more to this stick than just its USB ports. All the usual suspects are here, there's the Intel HD GPU, Bluetooth receiver and a quad-core processor. We were particularly impressed by what's in the box, though, there are adapters for three different countries' outlets. If you're the kind of person that travels a lot and works on the road, the CS125 is exactly what you need. As if that wasn't enough, the CS125 comes with a full year's warranty coverage. You should note that this won't apply if you repartition the device, but most casual users won't do too much tweaking anyway since it's already pretty well optimized for its hardware. Coming in number 3. Teriza T6. Another more powerful mini PC stick from Teriza. It's an attractive dark grey color with a honeycomb grille. Measuring 4.2 inches long and 0.6 inches wide, it can easily fit in your pocket. There is a good range of connection options, including a USB 3.0, a USB 2.0, micro USB and a slot for micro SD cards. The T6 also supports Bluetooth 4.2 for wireless peripherals. Power in a stick Teriza uses a quad-core Intel Atom Z8350 processor capable of up to 1.92 GHz. Paired with 8GB of DDR3 RAM, this can assist with multitasking but is still limited and should not be pushed too far. Running the Windows 10 Pro 64-bit operating system again is too much of a stretch for these devices. It is great to have the extra features afforded, however, it just takes up too much space and cannot be run efficiently. Stick around. There's more. Video is handled by inbuilt Intel HD graphics and can comfortably run FHD 1080 pixels content. Handy for watching YouTube, Netflix or your favorite streaming service. This is, in fact, a tidy solution for those with a projector. Another great use we found was for the office. A stick PC is quite capable of running a slideshow or PowerPoint presentation. Much easier than having to carry an entire laptop around. Pros Many connection options. Steam's movies well. Portability Cons Limited multitasking. OS can be sluggish. Coming in number 2. ASUS Chrome Bit CS10 
manufactured by ASUS for Google is the Chrome EBIT. Running on Chrome OS, which is much more bare bones than Windows. This makes it more suitable as it can run even faster, even with a smaller processor than the others. Chrome OS is almost a hybrid of Windows and your Android device's OS. It might take some getting used to, but it does perform well. Responsive and snappy as long as you don't overdo the multitasking. Keeping things simple. Chrome EBIT is the smallest of all the devices we have here. It uses a USB connection instead of HDMI. This may limit use on a TV or monitor unless it supports USB. There is a USB 2.0 input on the other side for adding wired peripherals or additional storage. Included internal storage is 16 GB, and we feel it could have been more. Providing a stable internet connection. Bluetooth 4.0 is enabled, useful for a wireless keyboard and mouse. How does it perform? Setting up is easy. There's no power button, just plug it in, and it will automatically start. Greeted with an initial setup screen, you create or enter your Google account details. The device is then ready to go. Video playback is limited to FHD 1080 pixel. This isn't a major issue as it keeps everything running smoothly without overloading it. Of course, all your apps are available from Play Store. In summary, we were very impressed with the Chrome Bit's snappy performance and ease of use. Pros Snappy performance Doesn't overreach on its capabilities. Small and simple Cons Only 16 GB storage Minimal connection options Coming in number 1. Terry's AW5 Pro. Whip this device out of your pocket, and people will think you have a slightly enlarged USB stick. The stick is smooth in texture and all black. There are some small vents where a tiny fan can be seen. Just in front of the vents at one end is an HDMI connector. On one side, there is a TF card reader. On the other is one USB 3.0 and one 2.0 port along with a power port and switch. Windows 10 Pro OS It packs in an Intel Atom Z8350 quad-core processor similar to those found in tablets. The OS is Windows 10 Pro, which may be a bit overzealous. Given the limited processing available, maybe a lighter version would be better. There is 4GB of RAM to assist along with 64GB of storage space. Windows takes up about 25GB of that, so it's really closer to 40GB. You can, however, use up to a 128GB microSD card to expand that. What can this thing do? Connecting to the internet is made easy via dual-band Wi-Fi 802.11 AC. Bluetooth 4.2 is on board useful for connecting a wireless keyboard and or mouse. Wired varieties can be connected via USB. Video is taken care of using inbuilt Intel HD graphics. Watching YouTube or Netflix is possible if you don't have anything else running in the background. There is a tiny inbuilt fan, but this thing does get hot after about 15 minutes of use. However, it is not a bad little device for its small form factor. Pros Expandable storage. Great for watching movies. Intel processor. Cons. Can get hot. Overzealous OS.